The thing that drew me to film, when I was a little kid, I, I remember I was plotting, I planned out a movie. It was right after seeing Return of the Jedi. And I was like, I want to shoot it. And my dad had a Super 8 camera and we actually never ended up shooting on it. I was really into it. And I remember my dad telling me about George Lucas and Steven Spielberg and these guys, like, you know, somebody was making these movies. So yeah, I, I uh, uh, that was kind of an interest of mine when I was, you know, nine, ten-ish. And I kind of moved on. Um, I, for a long time, I wanted to be an artist. Uh, I wanted to be an aeronautical engineer because I loved airplanes. And then I found out there was math, and I didn't want to do math. I kind of had like lost the whole filmmaker thing, like thinking about it. And then um, I got to the point where I wanted to be a comic book artist, and um, I drew a lot and I was drawing. And uh, I realized that I wasn't that good. Um, I wasn't as good as I, you know, like it was just. It was always a, a hassle to draw exactly what I wanted. And um, I took, I think the idea of like being a filmmaker kind of like jumped back into my head around that time. I was probably like 21. Um, started rattling around there and I took a, a film, uh, intro to film class and I was like, they were talking about like all how, how film uses all these art forms. And at that time I was like, I loved writing, I loved like, you know, like anything that was kind of artistic expression, I was like really very interested in. And so but once I realized that it was kind of like this, you know, culmination of all the art forms, I was like really, really interested in it. And I, I, I really started looking at why I wanted to be a comic book artist. And basically I just wanted to tell stories visually. Um, and so the thought that I could just point a camera at something and tell the story instead of like being super frustrated by drawing, you know. I actually didn't decide to be a filmmaker right then. Like I, I went and I backpacked Europe for three months and I said, you know, by the time I'm done with this trip, I want to know I'm going to make a decision if I'm going to be an artist or if I'm going to be a filmmaker. And I decided to be a filmmaker. Um, after I think it was seeing all that beautiful art in Europe and just being like, I don't know if I could, but you know, like I want to be this good at something, you know, and, and filmmaking felt like it was a little bit more open to me. And it's funny because in retrospect, I'm like, yeah, that was such an obvious choice for like my sensibilities. But at the time it wasn't, it was, it was kind of a, this big decision, but that's kind of what got me in. And then um, I came home uh, at the time I was going to Mesa Community College and I just said, I got to go to a school, and at that they time, at that time they had like a deal with BYU where they like if you graduated with your AA, you can come. They accept all your credits, and uh, I talked to some people who were going to the BYU film program, and they were telling about it. And I said, "That sounds great," and so I just uh, got out of MCC as fast as I could and went to BYU, studied film there.